Welcome back everyone to Tech It. Uh, I guess that's what the series is called. I haven't uploaded the first episode yet. So I just decided to go exploring, figure out where I want to build in. Came across this structure. When I first saw it on the map, I thought maybe it was a village and I had the mini map set to large, but it took up such a huge amount of the screen that I decided to set it back to medium. So let's go ahead and check this out. Someone's been busy. <laughs> I don't know uh, whose stuff this is. I'm not going to take any of it, of course, but wow. I wonder what's down here. Huh. Nice little tree farm. Oh, and of course it is dark out there. So let's see, I don't really want to be in the desert or anything. So I might head back towards the forest. Um, I might have to wait until daytime here. Yeah, there's no way this could end well. Seriously, zombie? I know that I can't break the doors, but it's still annoying. Okay, I'm gonna wait for daytime. Okay, zombies, do you ever get tired of doing that? Seriously? Alright, so I'm going to be heading west. And we will see what we find over here. Actually, I probably shouldn't do exploration in this video. This is vanilla terrain here. I see a snow biome. And I'm going to go ahead and bump up the map size again. Just for the time being. I did actually just remove Ray's mini-map. I forgot it uh, does that silly thing where if you already have waypoints, it will show the IP address of the server for some bizarre reason. So I just kicked it out for now. Oh. Is this from, uh, Dimensional Doors? Oh, man. I I've got to try it. Ooh. I've seen this mod before. I've never really had much of a chance to play with it. Let's uh, make sure music is on. I don't know if that affects it or not. I think this mod might have some music or something. Here's a chest. There's some kind of decent stuff in it. It's been a while since I've looked at this mod, so I don't know what all it has going for it exactly. Uh, I think you can actually, yeah, you can walk on the black.
creepy. So, I wonder where this door goes. Oh. And that creepy music is indeed part of the mod. There's a door. Can we uh, reduce the mini map size again? It's kind of useless here. Oh. Don't want those eyes opening all the way on you. That's a very bad thing from what I've heard. Ooh. Hmm. This place just looks kind of average. Nothing too frightening here. Let's go back. Pick a different route. Okay, I am actually a bit too scared to go any further here. Or any deeper, I mean. The iron doors take you deeper. Oh no. I walked right into that. Can I mine this fabric of reality? Kind of. So this looks a lot like another fortress now. I think I see an iron door up there. Here's another one. This one only has a wooden door in it. Where is this taking me? I'm in the nether? And why is this red? Well... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do now that I'm in the nether. I guess I should probably go back the way I came. I think there's actually some way to make these dimensional doors on your own and you can create your own little dimensions that will carry you around different places.
doesn't say how to get this world thread. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can find that other iron door. I think it was up there. Iron door and a wooden door. Let's try the wooden door. Hmm. Where am I? Yeah, a little bit southeast of where I was before. Okay. I wonder what those kind of brownish patches are up there. Let's go check that out really quickly. Oh, that's just sewage, I think. Okay, well, let's go back and try our luck with our iron door. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, I'm not in the mood to explore more of this right now. Maybe some other time. So, let's see. Is there any way... Waypoint... New... All right, and of course it's getting dark. As if it could be any other way. That's not the map I wanted. I keep pressing M instead of J. Did I uh, zoom this in somehow? Is there a way to zoom it out? Ah, there we go. So, a desert's really not the place I want to be in at night. And we apparently have a lot of desert in this world. Yeah, I can't fight spiders on a server. They might as well be invincible. Well, obviously not, but... Uh, I do have this lava bucket. Maybe I should make use of it. I see what looks kind of like a village on the map over there. Let's go check it out. Well, I thought that lava bucket might take out the skeleton, but apparently I did not aim very well. Okay, and it looks like there are some villagers here. Let's see. What have we got in here? We got two villagers in here. Let's go ahead and block them in. No! Getting some lag. What is with the lag spikes of death? Oh, I wonder if it's the zombie AI or something. Or 
Or would that have any effect on my client when I'm on the server? I don't know, but I'm going to stop recording anyway, see if this gets any better. Just been exploring a little bit more and I found this crazy looking thing over here. That is awesome looking. I might set up in the extreme hills over here. Lots of mobs. I see this cave over here. It might be a good place to get started until I figure out what I want to build exactly. Um, <laughs> a bed. Alright, so this place looks uh, pretty good. It's got a bunch of coal, which I need, and plenty of room to set up some basic stuff here. Oh no, the water updated. I didn't want it to update. Uh, oh well. Okay, we need something to keep the mobs out. It's kind of tough to do, actually. And we're getting those lag spikes again. Oh, I hope I'm not running out of hard drive space or something. I should probably go check that. Okay, so I restarted Minecraft thinking maybe it was all the dimension hopping I did with the, the pocket dimensions from the Dimensional Doors mod or whatever it's called. I'm not sure if that's what was causing the problem or not. It seemed like it was still happening when I came back on and I tried turning off the entity dis uh, indicators on the mini map and that seems to have helped it's kind of hard to say for sure so I am thinking hmm, well I did get carrots and potatoes from this village maybe I should go replace some of the wheat on that farm with these so that there's a better food source there I also need to start making some basic machinery from thermal expansion. I guess I could just start smelting and crafting things while I'm over here waiting for stuff to grow. I've actually got a bunch of wheat that I didn't harvest from last time. And my inventory is naturally a mess. Wow, that's loud. It seems loud to me. Maybe it's not. I haven't had many carrots recently in real life. You see a lot of carrots. And potatoes are always good. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording and do some kind of grindy stuff around here. I'm probably going to use this little shed as a place to temporarily throw my stuff while I get ore smelted. And I... One reason I want to get a redstone furnace right now is strangely so I can make a backpack because you can smelt the rotten flesh into leather using a redstone furnace. So that's definitely something I want to get done pretty quickly here. 
And I need a water bucket. So I should remember to make another bucket. I just happened to have an empty bucket while caving, and I saw this lava, so I thought I would grab it, and now it's in my hot bar, posing a danger to all. Alright, well I've been getting some basic stuff set up. I've got the redstone furnace, I made an enchantment, enchantment table, and I'm short one bookshelf, but I only have it 28 levels anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and use them. I already almost died. I just fell into a ravine on the way back. And I had two hearts left. Fortune 2, Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3. That's pretty good. Considering I only put 28 levels onto it instead of the full 30. I will take it. So this is basically what I've done. I just smelted all my rotten flesh into leather and... Apparently I had a lot of energy left over. Alright, so I actually wanted to make a backpack. And I wonder, is there any way to make string? A wool gin on wool. Or pulverizing wool. Okay, so you would need wool either way. Hmm. Alright, so I'll just make one of the basic backpacks for now, and these big backpacks require this bound leather, which is two leather and seven string. Then you smelt it into tanned leather, and that's what makes the big backpacks. And it looks like I might need a dye of some kind as well. Okay. So what, what do I have that I can use as a dye around here? Anything? Well, there's some yellow flowers. I guess that'll do. So let's see, how much does this hold? A single chest worth. Okay. Well, that still doubles my inventory capacity, so that sounds pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bunch of stuff in here. And maybe I should even make two backpacks. Okay, and I will take these with me. And the furnaces can stay, but I'm going to take anything that's in them. And I will need to take the bed with me. Alright, and there is the cave I've set up in. So I'm going to hop in there and start getting stuff set up, maybe pretty up the cave a little bit. This isn't going to be where we, we will be staying permanently, it's just something until I figure out exactly what I want to do. I wonder where the zombies are. That could get a bit annoying. Oh yeah, look at that. They're just hanging out, enjoying the view. Let's, let's go ahead and climb up there and light up the place. I suppose there's technically no reason I couldn't just make an entire base in this cave, but I don't know if I want to do that. Could be kind of cool, but uh, I did something that was mostly underground last time. I hate to do the same thing twice in a row. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I think I may focus on this area over here. And I'll go ahead and take that water, since it's not glitched out anymore. So I'm going to maybe flatten out this area a little bit, kind of clean it up. 
and we'll see what to do from there. Okay, so we got a good size, kind of rectangular area. I still need to fill in some spots, like I want to fill this in. But we can do that later on, so... For now, the bed can go here. And what kind of chest do we have in this mod pack? We do have iron chest. And, oh, I forgot we had the Simply Jetpacks. What do those take to make? Bloodstone Thruster. That doesn't look too bad. I think you would still need to have something like an Energetic Infuser to charge them, but I... I could be wrong about that. And I probably am. I'm good at being wrong about things. Remember, there's nothing wrong with being wrong as long as you realize that you are wrong when you are wrong. Did that make sense to anyone? Okay, so I think I will just make vanilla chest for now. Uh, maybe three double chest. And let's put them where? Okay. And now I just need to organize my stuff somehow. So maybe I'll put uh, metal ores and gems in there, things like that. And then blocks here. And then other stuff can just go in here. Alright, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back whenever I figure out what I want to do. Okay, we need to wrap up this episode. I'm about, I'm about halfway done editing it and it's already too long. So, I'm not sure how long the final product will be. But, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or leave a like or a comment if you want to. And check out the other guys' channels. And I will see you next time.